president on February 8th issued a memo, and it said, uh, and you already know this, but just for context, it said that it was the policy of this administration to prevent arms transfers that risked facilitating or otherwise contributing to violations of human rights or international humanitarian law. Is firing a missile at people delivering food and killing them not a violation of international humanitarian law? Well, the Israelis have already admitted that uh, this was a mistake that they made. They're doing an investigation. They'll get to the bottom of this. Let's not get ahead of that. Um, your, your question presumes at this very early hour that it was a deliberate strike, that they knew exactly what they were hitting, that they were hitting aid workers and did it on purpose. And there's no evidence of that. I would also remind you, sir, that we continue to look at incidents as they occur. The State Department has a process in place. And to date, as you and I are speaking, they have not found any incidents where the Israelis have violated international humanitarian law. And lest you think we don't take it seriously, I can assure you that we do. We look at this in real time. They have never violated international humanitarian law ever in the past five to six months. I'm telling you, the State Department has looked at incidents in the past and has yet to determine that any of those incidents violate international humanitarian law. Unless you think we don't take international law seriously, right? That, that's his challenge. Well, you, you surely think we take international law seriously, and then you should accept that our judgment is that Israel has never, or not since October the 7th at least, broken international law, right? Maybe we don't take you very seriously, John Kirby. Maybe one of the reasons we don't take you seriously is, is because of answers like that, right? Israel has killed 32,000 people, the majority of them civilians. They've bombed hospitals and aid workers, and they've bragged about putting Gaza's 2 million people under siege, right? And John Kirby would perhaps have done well to have taken a look at a submission from Human Rights Watch and Oxfam to the White House showing all the times that they think Israel has demonstrably broken international law. Now, as you can imagine, it's a long list. I'll just show you four of the examples. So they say, Human Rights Watch documented a strike by Israeli forces on a marked ambulance outside Al-Shifa Hospital on November the 3rd, 2023, which reportedly killed 15 people and injured 60. Ambulances are protected civilian objects under international humanitarian law and cannot be targeted when used to treat wounded and sick individuals, both civilian and combatant. Israeli authorities said they intentionally struck the ambulance, contending it was being used to transport able-bodied fighters. Human Rights Watch investigated these claims and did not find any evidence that the ambulance was being used for military purposes. So another, what they think of as a war crime, Human Rights Watch determined based on verified video and witness accounts that Israeli forces used white phosphorus in military operations in Lebanon and Gaza on October the 10th and 11th. Um, and Human Rights Watch documented a strike by Israeli forces on a family in a car in southern Lebanon on November the 5th that killed three girls aged 10, 12, and 14, and their grandmother. Human Rights Watch found no evidence of a military target in the vicinity of the car that was struck, which only contained fleeing civilians. An Oxfam analysis has found that a significant portion of its water, sanitation, and hygiene infrastructure that Oxfam and its WASH partners installed or rehabilitated over the period 2017 to 2023 has been damaged or destroyed by Israeli bombardment, rendering much of it inoperable. The location of this infrastructure were deconflicted through the appropriate channels in order to ensure that Israel was aware of and could avoid damaging facilities that provide essential services to civilians in Gaza. The lawyers at Human Rights Watch think these are these are clear um, breaches of international humanitarian law, but according to the Americans, everything's fine and dandy. 